Evening, y'all. It's Crafty Coder. I wanted to discuss uh, a question about the constant current dummy load, and specifically its load resistor, which might look like one of these guys, or like one of these guys. This is uh, 10, 10 ohm resistors in parallel, making a 1 ohm resistor. This is a pair of 0.2 ohm resistors, making a 0.1 resistor. It's 200 watts. 30 watts. This is a not point 0.1 resistor, 100 watts. And I use these with this setup to uh, allow me to bleed off uh, highly accurate and very uh, easy to control uh, currents to test power supplies that I build. But uh, the question came up do you need a load resistor at all? Uh, and a video I saw posted on YouTube yesterday or the day before. Uh, the assertion was made that it was unnecessary. It was a, an irrelevant add-on created only to be a current shunt to measure the voltage drop from the high side to ground and therefore measure the load. But you could short it to ground and get the uh, same current and the uh, and the same effect in the circuit. Now, this was shown to be nominally correct in the original poster's video. He made an example and showed it, but uh, I don't believe that is the whole story and I wanted to clarify it. Uh, and I created a nice little visual representation to do so. Instead of having a load resistor, which is just a, a heat machine. I used a light bulb from an automobile. I've got the power supply set to 12 volts and uh, we're going to show off what it means to uh, change the efficiency of a MOSFET transistor. So in the original posters video he was running the MOSFET gate above the uh, gate threshold, of course, but within the ohmic region of the MOSFET, which allows the MOSFET to operate as a variable resistor. So when he shorted it to ground, the MOSFET itself was the load resistor. And uh, it was handling the entire uh, load resistance, and shorting it to ground didn't have any major effects on his circuit. If he wanted to keep turning up the voltage on the MOSFET, he would run into problems and they would look and smell like magic smoke uh, without a load resistor because when you get to a certain point on a MOSFET, and it is called the saturation region, where your uh, voltage and current are at a point where you are reaching uh, very low resistance, the MOSFET I'm using gets into the milli-ohm range in saturation, and uh, that's an awful lot like uh, a dead short. So, since my MOSFET can only take, well this one can use 200 watts, but the one the original poster was using was like 30 watts. So a dead short is going to make 30 watts in a hurry. So, uh, it would not be a safe thing for him to do if he was running it in saturation mode. So we'll give you a visual example of what that looks like right now. This is the uh, first, the ohmic region. I'm going to turn this up to 1.2 amps or so and you'll see that the uh, light bulb doesn't glow at all. Well, that's close enough. 1.2 amps. Well, it's coming down, but either way, you'll see that it's um, not glowing because the MOSFET is uh, a large enough resistor that it can bleed off all of that current uh, without leaving any uh, free electrons to burn the lamp. 
Now, my board has a convenient switch on it that allows you to uh, run the MOSFET skate either in the ohmic region or in the saturation region uh, up to a point. Um, if you get high enough, it has to go to saturation in order to get the current there, and then uh, all bets are off, but certainly in the one amp range, it's no problem to uh, run it in saturation mode or in ohmic region mode. So we'll switch it to saturation and you'll see the difference. There we go, we flipped the switch. Now we're going to turn it up. There we go, that's about where it was in the last one. I think the last one was 1.16. I think it started at 1.8, but it got a little lower. Uh, that's because with the uh, headlamp, light bulbs have an unusual uh, effect of starting at uh, very low resistance, but as you get them hotter, they become much higher. Um, so as you run current through it, it warms up a little bit and it resistance changes, and so it, it affects the reading a little bit. But uh, anyway, in saturation mode, you can now see I'm still pulling the same 1.18 amps through the power supply. And uh, now I'm leaving a whole lot of extra electrons to burn that lamp. Now, if this was a dead short to ground, uh, we'd likely have a bit of a mess on our hands. So, uh, anyway, I just thought this might be an interesting... Uh, addition to that uh, original posters video. I hope this clarifies it for him and doesn't, uh, and for you guys, and doesn't cause any extra confusion. And I hope I didn't put my foot in my mouth at the same time. Uh, I just got these uh, boards this weekend and I built this guy today and put it in that box. So I'll probably post a video uh, a little bit later showing it off in greater detail. But uh, in the meantime, good evening.